Hello, and welcome to the Lenny Zakin Fund's 26th Annual Award Ceremony. For those who don't know me, or I have not had the pleasure of meeting you yet, my name is Erica Sevis. I'm the Fund's Executive Director. I'm thrilled that you've chosen to join us for this special annual event, where the Zakin Fund community comes together as one to celebrate and honor the remarkable work of grassroots leaders and organizations who are advancing social, economic, and racial justice. As an intermediary nonprofit, the Lenny Zakem Fund functions as both a charitable organization, which means we're nearly 100% supported by the generosity of hundreds of donors each year, but also as a grant-making organization, where we provide grant funding and technical assistance to small grassroots organizations. Our goal in partnering with these nonprofit organizations is to help them turn a vision into a sustainable reality. And since our founding in 1995, 
we have had the honor of awarding over $10 million in grants to nearly 400 nonprofit organizations. During this year's award ceremony, we will introduce you to 59 grassroots organizations who have been chosen to join our 2022 Zakem Fund community. We will also hear from three dynamic grassroots leaders who each lead organizations that recently completed their five-year funding cycle. They are Divya Chattaverdi of Saheli, Cynthia Dantas of Sibling Connections, and Joe Walsh of Adaptive Sports New England. Each of them is special and fascinating in their own right. And on top of that, you'll be treated to the musical talents of students from Building Bridges Through Music, which is a phenomenal music and education program based in Lynn, and is also one of our current grantee partners. It's my hope that by the end of this program, you'll not only be inspired by these incredible leaders, their organizations, and the stories they share, but also enormously proud of the Zakem Fund's impact and scope and your association with us. So what are we waiting for? Let's begin the 26th Annual Award Ceremony by hearing from our first speaker, Divya. Hi, my name is Divya Chaturvedi and I'm the co-executive director of Saheli. Empowering women and girls has always been a cause very close to my heart and Saheli's mission and work really resonated with me. So it was with great excitement and passion that I started this new job at Saheli in 2018. Saheli, which means friend in Hindi, is a non-profit organization based in Massachusetts that offers free and confidential domestic violence services. Saheli's services and many programs include domestic violence advocacy, mental health counseling, group therapy, referrals to shelter and assistance with public housing, safety planning, court accompaniment, legal clinics, support groups, and other services that enable survivors of domestic violence to make informed decisions about their future and put them on a path to safety and healing. Saheli recognizes the unique cultural beliefs, language requirements, and upbringing of South Asian and Arab immigrant survivors and places their well-being at the core of its services. The first week into my new job at Saheli, I was fortunate enough to attend a Lenny Zikam Fund training on financial management. I have since then attended multiple trainings, capacity building workshops and institutes organized by the Lenny Zekum Fund, trainings on board development, volunteer management, grant writing, strategic planning, community building, and so many more. The investment by Lenny Zekum Fund in both the organization and the people who run the organization through their many trainings and workshops helped me gain both knowledge and confidence to become a better leader, and their funding support helped transform Saheli into a bigger and a more comprehensive domestic violence service provider. In fact, our first grant from Lenny Zekum Fund allowed Saheli to invest in paid and trained domestic violence advocates, and most importantly, allowed Saheli to support its brand new first office space. The support of Lenny Zekum Fund has been critical to Saheli's growth allowing the organization to invest in expanding its language and organizational capacity to meet the needs of survivors who speak limited or no English. I would like to share a story of a survivor with you. This survivor had been in an abusive relationship for many years, but was reluctant to leave because of her children and because of family pressure. However, the situation escalated and pretty soon the Department of Children and Families, DCF, was involved. She spoke limited English and so was not able to tell her story to DCF and her abuser used this to his advantage. He painted her as a bad mother who could not take care of her children. Scared she might lose her kids, she came to Saheli for help. With all the other domestic violence support that she received from Saheli, she also received individual mental health counseling and parenting support from Saheli's newly established mental health program. Her weekly therapy sessions helped her build her confidence and self-esteem, and she was subsequently successful in getting custody of her kids. She started working, earning money, and today is supporting herself and her kids and living a life free of abuse. Thank you so much, Lenny Zekum Fund, for your support that has enabled a small nonprofit like Saheli to survive and grow and thrive and help thousands of vulnerable women and families in Massachusetts. 
We are deeply, deeply grateful for all that you do for organizations and people that help make society and the world a better place. Thank you, Lenny Zikam. Wow, thank you, Divya, for sharing that powerful story. My name's Tim James, and I am proud to serve as chair of the Lenny Zakem Fund's board of directors. I joined the LZF board in 2018, and last December, just recently, I succeeded Susie Cates as board chair. In this role, I am constantly in awe of the courageous work of our grantee partners who are working to address some of the community's most critical challenges day after day. These devoted and talented individuals serve as an inspiration to all of us here at the LZF. Therefore, I would like to take this opportunity to congratulate all of our 2022 grantee partners and to thank everyone from donors to volunteers to staff and finally, all of my fellow board members for everything you do to make the work of the fund possible. And now, it's my pleasure to introduce our 2022 Access to Food, Housing, and Economic Security grantee partners. Good evening, I'm April Wallace, one of four new members of the Lenny Zakem Fund's Board of Directors. Having been a longtime member of the Greater Boston Community and spent the last six years working for the Greater Boston Food Bank, I am well aware of LZF's great work in the community. Tonight, I am excited to introduce our 2022 Children and Youth Development and Education grantee partners. Congratulations.
Hello everyone, I'm Cynthia Dantas, the Executive Director of Sibling Connections. For those of you who haven't heard of Sibling Connections, we were founded 17 years ago by an adoptive mother who witnessed her daughter's loss of contact with her siblings in foster care. While it is recognized that it is in the best interests of siblings to stay together in foster care, for a variety of reasons, it is frequently not possible. Unfortunately, sibling visitation in foster care typically consists of a monthly one-hour office visit with a social worker at best. To fill this gap, we started with a week of camp in 2005. In addition to enjoying traditional camp activities, including zip lines, kayaking, horseback riding, and more, the siblings also create family scrapbooks, including photos taken throughout the week, sometimes the only photos our siblings have of one another. 17 years later, we continue to offer a week of camp for 125 youth and now include a youth leadership program as a part of camp to serve youth who have been a part of our community but are aging out of camp and foster care. Our year-round programs, including weekend retreats and sibling Sunday get-togethers, are offered monthly for separated sibling groups living in the Boston, Lawrence, Lowell, and Springfield regions. None of this would be possible without our dedicated volunteer base who take vacation time and dedicate their weekends to serving as chaperones, camp counselors, and mentors to our youth. These programs that support the sibling connection, the longest and closest relationship most of us will experience in our lifetimes, have a tremendous positive impact on long-term outcomes for youth in foster care. When I took over as the executive director four years ago, I was completely new to running a nonprofit and relied heavily on Lenny Zakem Fund's staff expertise. Their openness to giving advice, offering resources, and providing introductions to other professionals without a doubt helped me become more effective in my role more quickly. Lastly, as a small nonprofit, the opportunity to attend training sessions with other nonprofit leaders in the social justice space in the region has been so rewarding. Ultimately, being a part of the Lenny Zakem Fund has helped our organization further its mission and increase its impact. We have been fortunate to be a Lenny Zakem Fund grantee for the past five years and are appreciative of not only the financial support, but also the unique knowledge and community building feature provided to grantees. As a part of the Lenny Zakem Fund community for life, if I can ever be of assistance to you, I hope you will reach out. Congratulations on becoming a Lenny Zakem Fund grantee. Hi, I'm Dina Zakem. And I'm Shari Zakem Yacobi. We are Lenny Zakem's daughters, founder of the Lenny Zakem Fund, and also LZF board members. Together with our mom, Joyce, and our brother, Josh, we've been able to witness the evolution of the fund and its work with grassroots organizations over the 27 years since LZF was founded in 1995, but especially over the last 12 years during our time on the board. Along with our mom, Dina and I are on LZF's Community Investment Committee, the fund's grant committee, and have learned firsthand about the incredible work of grassroots organizations and communities throughout Massachusetts are doing. Which is why we are so thrilled to be able to introduce our 2022 Civil and Human Rights Advocacy and Support Grantee Partners. Congratulations. Good evening. I'm Michael Ecton, the new Vice Chair of the Lenny Zakem Fund's Board of Directors. I was first introduced to the Lenny Zakem Fund over a decade ago, and I'm proud to have been a supporter over the years. I was first involved as a site visitor, and I encourage everyone to explore these opportunities to really get the pulse of LZF and our grantee partners. About four or five years ago, I was invited to join LZF's Community Investments Committee, 
the fund's grants committee, and have served on LZF's board since 2020. I am honored to be part of this year's annual award ceremony, and I'm delighted to introduce our 2022 Health Promotion and Accessibility for All grantee partners. again. I hope you are enjoying the awards ceremony program so far. I am truly blown away by the incredible array of grassroots organizations who make up LZF's grantee portfolio this year. And I hope you are equally so as well. And now, let's meet our 2022 LGBTQIA community support and organizing grantee partners. Hi, my name is Joe Walsh and I'm the Executive Director and President of Adaptive Sports New England. 
As a kid who's legally blind, I played all types of sports because I had the support of my family and I knew that my friends were playing sports. I was never very good at all, but had the experience of being on a team. So I founded Adaptive Sports New England because it was really clear that kids who have disabilities don't have the opportunity to play sports. They play sports at about one third the rate of their peers who don't have disabilities. Uh, and that means they miss out on the opportunities to, to learn about teamwork, to build their resilience and their uh, self-confidence. They miss out on all those team dinners and riding the school, the, the team bus uh, and being with friends in that uh, social experience. The coaches we have are Paralympians or other athletes who have disabilities themselves and they can serve as role models and mentors to our athletes, but they also understand the specific needs of the athletes who are participating in our programs. So while we encourage the athletes and support the athletes who are participating in local programs, um, we're able to complement that support that they get uh, with this specialized coaching. When I started Adaptive Sports New England, I didn't have any idea what I was getting into. The Lenny Zakem Fund helped me uh, learn about some of the things that are essential for uh, the leader of a small organization to do in development, in fundraising, in, in uh, organizational leadership are all essential components of what the Lenny Zakem Fund brought to Adaptive Sports New England. We've got one athlete who just recently competed for her high school at the state high school championship meet in swimming. She has been with Adaptive Sports New England for six years. She's legally blind and without the support from Adaptive Sports New England, she wouldn't have been able to build up her capabilities, her her technical swimming capabilities enough to have participated in the high school team. But because she had that experience and because she competed on the team, she had a, a group of 40 girls who were her teammates and friends. If you can imagine being blind in, in a high school, uh, it's easy to get lost and easy to get uh, mixed up in the crowd. Uh, and she knew that she always had those 40 girls who had her back and were watching for her and supporting her throughout her uh, high school experience. Maddie's motivated to swim in college as well. And while she hasn't made a final decision as to where she's going, swimming will definitely be in her plans for as she selects a, as she let, selects a school. We feel really good about the progress that we've made uh, and the impact that we've had on kids like Maddie when we started with the Lenny Zakem Fund, we really only had a swim program. And now we're able to provide swimming, track and field, wheelchair basketball, rowing, sailing, really made a big difference in the way that Adaptive Sports New England is positioned today. And that means that we can do a much better job of serving the youth and families who um, are out there. What has always impressed me about the Lenny Zakem Fund and its work with grassroots leaders and organizations is the passion that both the staff and the board brings to fully supporting, both financially and more broadly, our even more passionate grantee partners. And this award ceremony, like those that have come before, is a wonderful showcase of our grantee partners who are working tirelessly in our communities. This includes our 2022 Organizing and Support for Immigrants and Refugees grantee partners who I am now proud to introduce.
Our dad was a bridge builder, and one of his goals in creating the Lenny Zakum Fund is that it would serve to build bridges among people and communities. He would be so incredibly proud of not only the connections that have been made through the fund, but the positive impact the fund has had in communities throughout Eastern Massachusetts because of those many connections made over the years. We love the annual award ceremony each year and would like to thank you for being a part of this ongoing commitment to bridge building. And now, last but certainly not least, we are excited to introduce the 2022 grant partners in our seventh and final funding area, violence prevention, criminal justice reform, and family outreach. Congratulations, and thank you to you and all of our 2022 grantee partners. Thank you. So what did you think? We heard stories of transition, technical assistance, and the value of just-in-time support, training, and guidance. Many thanks to Divya, Cynthia, and Joe for sharing your stories and your journeys. Thank you also to Doreen Murray and her wonderful students at Building Bridges Through Music for sharing your gifts and talents with us. I'd also like to thank our board members, Tim, Sherry, Dina, Michael, and April for being a part of this awards program. Thank you also to my staff and colleagues, Allison and Dominique, as well as to our full board of directors and all of the many volunteers, committee members, and donors who helped to make the fun what it is today. If you haven't done so yet, I highly encourage you to take a few minutes to read the electronic program booklet to learn more about the Zagum Fund, our 2022 grantee partners, and all of the fantastic donors who helped support us this past year. In fact, I want to take a minute to welcome officially all 59 of our grantee partners who are joining the Zakem Fund community this year, and in particular, the 16 organizations who are newly joining us for the first time. I hope all of you will join us again around the same time next year for our 27th annual award ceremony, which we hope will be in person. We'll see. And in the meantime, please mark your calendars for our Untold Stories event, which will be held on Thursday, September 22nd, at the Royal Sinesta Hotel in Cambridge. Thank you so much to all of you for joining us tonight. I'm honored that you are here, and I hope you enjoyed yourself. And I invite you to join us after the credits roll for a short meet and greet on Zoom.